Beckett March during the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco after learning about DirectX 12 and all the amazing changes that it was going to bring to the world of PC gaming. We sat down with NVIDIA and they talked about something quite interesting with us. It was about improvements to their driver in terms of DirectX 11 efficiency. With all the hubbub going around about AMD Mantle and what it offered game developers that DirectX 11 did not, NVIDIA is obviously very sensitive to it. Uh, something that their driver team has been working on is improving efficiency of DirectX 11 directly, improving CPU overhead, limiting it, and removing it from the infrastructure, thus improving performance uh, for gamers today with an existing API, which is something that you know, Mantle does not necessarily do. It requires a lot of work on the developer side. Now, when we sat down with them and talked about it, they were being kind of vague about it. We saw some numbers, but not a whole lot. And we didn't even know which driver version we were going to see it in. Last week, NVIDIA finally released uh, the 337.50 beta driver, which implements these, uh, the beginnings of these DirectX 11 efficiency changes. And with it come performance advantages in certain select cases on certain select hardware. Today, we posted an article on PCPer.com that analyzes uh, quite a few different GPU configurations with quite a few different uh, platform configurations, in particular a 3960X and a 4770K, with SLI and single GPU uh, configurations again tested as well. A whole bunch of different games are looked at at different resolutions and quality settings. There's a, a, a wide array of data for you to look at there. Now rather than simply regurgitate that information for you in video form, it makes a lot more sense rather than mentioning specific frame rate and percentage improvements from me to you in this video, for you to go to PCPer.com, find that story, read the data directly, and leave your feedback there or on this uh, video as well. Now, there was a controversy that came up with this story uh, that started with a news post we made earlier in the week, just kind of as a preview of the 33750 driver. In that preview, we used Total War Rome 2, which is a game that uh, a lot of companies, including Intel and others, have talked about being very CPU limited. At the time, we showed performance scaling, I think, upwards of 70%, moving from the 33523 driver, which was the last uh, Wickle driver release before these DX11 optimizations were actually installed, and the new 337.50 driver. Um, 72% is a huge amount. And what happened is uh, a, a lot of commenters, and myself actually, kind of questioned NVIDIA on are these performance changes occurring because of these DX11 efficiency improvements? If so, great. Uh, or are they occurring because of SLI improvements? Maybe the profile was changed or adjusted or updated or added. Now, I asked NVIDIA directly before posting that news story, was this the case? Is this DX11 efficiency improvements causing this? And they told me, yes, that it was. Well, as it turns out, early this week, we got confirmation from NVIDIA that that was not the case. And in fact, there was a little bit of a hiccup in communication on their side internally as to when the Rome 2 SLI profile was actually integrated into the 335.23 driver. So long story short, the results we saw in Total War Rome 2 showing, you know, 40 to 70 percent scaling uh, at different resolutions with different cards were actually not caused by DX11 efficiency improvements, but by that proper SLI integration. So even though I asked them directly and they confirmed that it was DX11 efficiency, they later came back and said, you know what, it turns out we looked more into it and it is not. Uh, the details of it are that the 33523 driver shipped without the Rome 2 SLI profile in it, but if you had GeForce Experience installed, that profile was actually pushed after the release of 33523. So if you just installed the base driver, didn't install GFE, you did not get the SLI profile. If you did install GFE, you did have the SLI profile, and that's how you would know the difference. So uh, they're changing the way they do some of these um, number uh, promotions and how they do their testing and how they validate their testing at NVIDIA. I think, I hope that's what they're going to do. But again, long story short, Total War, uh, Rome 2, performance improvements caused by SLI, not by DX11 efficiency. And that's why in our new story, you do not see uh, Rome 2 results in our benchmarks. Instead, you see games like uh, Bioshock Infinite and Hitman Absolution and Sleeping Dogs and Battlefield 4 and a bunch of other titles um, that we know have proper SLI implementation and we know have long-standing SLI integration with them. So again, 
I encourage you guys to go to PCPro.com. We have a full uh, two-page story that has lots of benchmarks and lots of scaling with the new 33750 driver and what it adds to the efficiency. You'll, th you'll see uh, instances where we still see scaling in the 20s and 30% range with something like Hitman Absolution, but many cases where you see no scaling or 1% or 2% scaling. So this is really uh, a driver that's going to address specific hardware configurations for specific gamers. And much like we've seen with Mantle, it's going to vary based on your platform, what processor you're using, what GPU you're using, how many GPUs you're using, things like that. So it's an impressive start. They have a lot of work to do. And then other than that uh, controversial Total War Rome 2 issue, I think actually the 33750 driver is a positive thing, a very good thing. And they did, they did a good job uh, kind of getting this out there. Now we need to get Moving forward and step these up, uh, do more DX11 efficiency improvements that they have promised to do, and see if NVIDIA can really keep up with AMD Mantle using only the existing DX11 API. So go, go check out that article and uh, leave your thoughts here. Thanks, guys.